Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today bringing you another side-by-side -side camera comparison between the iPhone SE and the Huawei GX8. When we go to our camera comparisons, we always compare four different things. Low light, detail, color reproduction, and the, of course, the all-important selfie. In our first one, we have a low light, and really, this one came down so to the wire between these two phones. Let's start off with the low light. With the low light, we really couldn't get a winner here. Uh, we kept going around uh, the table as it were and kept seeing which one's better, which one's better. And overall, neither one is particularly perfect. Uh, the building typically looks a little bit better on the Huawei GX8. The uh, sky looks a little bit better on the iPhone SE, uh, whereas the ground just looks a different shade on each one. Overall, neither one is perfect and neither one is bad. Uh, and that because of that reason, we are going to call the low light actually a tie. Overall, neither one's good. The uh, Huawei has a little bit less of a lens flare, uh, but both of them have it. Um, overall, they're just both decent in low light. When it comes to detail, however, it's a much easier uh, comparison. Uh, with this one, we have a much blurrier photo on the iPhone SE. Everything from the Disney logo to the uh, PS4, just everything seems a bit off in terms of the detail. Whereas the Huawei, uh, by any means not perfect, definitely looks better with the, when it comes to the Disney logo, Sphero, BBA, and easily the PS4 logo. Overall, it's just giving a much better quality in detail comparing to the iPhone SE. So for that reason, the detail portion will go to the Huawei GX8. When it comes to the color reproduction, this was another one that was just like the low light. We couldn't really get a consensus on which one is better. Uh, quite frankly, both do a great job of color reproduction and some do a better job than the other in terms of lighting. So I would say the iPhone SE got a brighter shot, but because of that, it didn't get some colors as accurate as the Huawei GX8. If you look at actually the love letter portion right here, uh, the Huawei GX8 got that dead on, whereas the iPhone SE did brighten it, but then oversaturated with the red and the gold, and a little bit similar on the Android as well as the King of Tokyo. So overall, because of this, we will call this one a tie. Uh, the iPhone, again, did a better job of brightening it, but the Huawei did a very good job of keeping the color accurate with the lower light, while the iPhone SE did a great job of keeping it accurate with the brighter light. So for that reason, we will call this one a tie. And finally, when it comes to selfies, there was a great debate about what makes a good selfie on this photo. So, I for one uh, liked the Huawei GX8 photo better. Uh, the entire background of the photo completely looks better. Uh, and the uh, subject of the face looks clear. However, uh, I was overruled uh, by everyone else here. And uh, they all thought the selfie looked better in the face with the iPhone SE because your selfie was better lit and uh, the color is more vibrant. Um, so it really depends on you, but because I was overruled, uh, overwhelmingly, uh, we will give it to the iPhone SE, even though I, per personally, completely would rather take more selfies with the Huawei GX8. Uh, especially when you go to the megapixel difference and the wide angle, it, to me, it's clearly better. But overall, the general consensus was the iPhone SE took the better selfie. So, which means that low light was high. Huawei GX8 was better with detail, color reproduction was a tie, and the iPhone SE was better with the selfie taking, which gives this a tie score. So overall, these cameras are pretty comparable and it really depends on you uh, which one you wanna go with. Uh, the Huawei seems to be better with detail, color reproduction is good on both, low light's good on both, and the selfie, uh, for most people apparently, seems to be preferred by the iPhone SE. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.